Okay, folks, so this model might be unfamiliar to you because this is actually a digestive system model, but it does a really good job of demonstrating some of the arteries and veins of the celiac trunk and the portal system. So just to orient you, and we'll get more into the digestive system in the next unit, this is part of the small intestine. It's called the duodenum. This is the pancreas. And then this is the spleen. The spleen is on the left side. So we are looking at the posterior aspect of this model. I'm going to start with our veins here. Right here, this big one, that is the hepatic portal vein or just portal vein. Now right here, we have got the uh, inferior mesenteric vein. And notice there's another one right over here that's kind of tucked into the pancreas. That is the superior mesenteric vein. And then this one going over to the spleen is the splenic vein. Now as for the arteries, here's our celiac trunk. The celiac trunk has three branches coming off of it. We have the left gastric artery. This one over here that's going to be going towards that portal vein, that is the, uh, the hepatic artery, common hepatic artery, excuse me, and this is the splenic artery, again, going towards the spleen. Now, the one you see down here, well, that was our superior mesenteric vein. Here's the superior mesenteric artery. Now, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see the anterior aspect. So there's that splenic artery again, there's common hepatic, there's left gastric. So the only other artery and vein that you can see over here is going to be, there's your superior mesenteric artery and vein again. So posteriorly, you are seeing it get tucked uh, into the pancreas. And now here you're seeing where it's kind of emerging away from the pancreas. So that's superior mesenteric artery and vein.